You're about Hello? to curse me out. Kendra. We can't see your face. Are you already turning the light on? No, I'm Gucci. Hey, Nick. What up, dog? I heard you, be, yo, you became a TV star after being on my show. Yeah, yeah. You got me on HBO Max, girl. My homie Hello? holding the phone. Look, it's what real friends. It's what real friends do. Okay, no, well, he's not lying. Tell what happened yeah. because... Yeah, let me this phone come back. So basically, I came Wait, on. Close. We can't see your face. Okay, can you? Okay. Yeah, can you hear me though? We can see. Yes, we can see you now. Damn, mine look like nothing, can you? So basically, came on here. That you, you posted, you put that on the radio too. My people was riding down the street. They're like, we heard you on the radio. Like, why should? <laughs> so basically, in the uh, you post, you posted the show. Yeah, I want to say you came on in two thousand and twenty-one. Yeah, it was a minute ago. It was a minute ago. It was three years ago. Yeah. So tell the story. So yeah, yeah. Basically, then the producers hit me up and was like, "Come on the show." The, a girl saw me on the sh on your show and really hit me up in real life and was like, "You know, we, we tried to talk or whatever." So then, when the producers hit me up, I just went to her and was like, "You want to come on this show and meet and like meet on the show?" And then uh, it's called Never Ever Mess. And then we went on and went on the show. And then basically, I saw it. And, and you know, it's on the show. So everybody seemed to be. It, it basically wasn't like I wasn't all the way like digging out like how our pictures was or whatever but she's she still cool that's still my homie like but then we got into it on the show and they edited it to where it seemed like i don't know everybody's screaming like i don't know i don't know if you're seeing the show but it looked like we had a fight basically so but i don't know it's pros and cons to it but you know well let but me I ask you this okay so basically nick was on the show in 2021 he met a girl and then he got on a reality show went on shout out to my friend Toronto, Toronto. who i just <laughs> I just have to surround her today. That's so ironic. She's the host of the show. It's called Never Ever Meet. Never, never, ever met. Never, ever met. So basically, it's people that's been dating virtually and they meet for the first time on the show. So you and that girl, are, did you guys make it? Are y'all broken up? What happened? Hell no, you must ain't heard. We got into a whole fight on the show, Kendra. Everybody trying to call me Ike Turner, basically. You got into a physical fight? You, you put your hands on her? No, nah, she, put, she pushed me first and then I pushed her back. But it wasn't like a strong push, and then basically they edited it to where it seemed like I pushed her first, and then we had to do like two, three interviews afterwards to where she, you know, coincided with what I said and said, "Y'all, he didn't hurt me. I pushed him first." Basically, she's from New York, you know. New York girls aggressive, you know what I'm saying? So she was barking. She called me like eight, nine different. So basically, on the show, she started flirting with like a whole bunch of guys in front of my face. I'm from Chicago, you know, Chicago guys. Hold on. That is ratchet. I tried. Tesla, Tesla. You grabbed her up. You grabbed her up. I, was, so I didn't even say that out of her own mouth. Everybody, they're going to be dramatic because they saw her. But she said, the woman y'all saying, what she said, said out of her own mouth, she didn't get beat up. We all know what beat up is. She was basically, so it started where she was, uh, she was she was complimenting to other guys, like flirting with other guys. She had said something like, shit, like, shit, like six, seven, eight guys in the house, mind you. This is not a single show. This is a couple show. So I'm just sitting there. You see everybody see me sitting there like, damn, she disrespecting me. She embarrassing me. So then I finally, at 3 in the morning, she came downstairs, and I, I, confront, I confronted her. I'm like, hey, you know, you was disrespecting me today. Like, you know, I thought we, we had to talk before we came here. We said we weren't going to do that. You know, we are going to respect each other, you know. And, and then, and then, then, and come to find out she married, and then. <laughs> she was married? Then, yeah, she yeah, married, boy. girl. She married. Now she's going viral right now on the show for when I when I got kicked off for trying to supposedly trying to sneak off with another guy, which aligns with what I was saying. Trying to sneak off. I'm not saying it's true, but I'm just saying it looks like you know it looks like she right now she it's like a clip at the recent episode where she like dips off with a guy. I leave, I go to a hotel, and then she's there, and it's like it looks like she's dipping off in the hallway with another guy. And everybody like, damn, Dominique did say she was flirting with everybody. You know what I'm saying? But that's my homie though. I don't know what's true and I don't but know what's not. Not know she was married they did they just i don't know oh yeah oh the husband called the show he called, called the show like hey, that's my wife straight up and down so nick are you single yeah i'm single i'm i'm, I'm chilling right now because there's so much slack from the show basically everybody like saying like you too aggressive da, da, da. yeah i'm just chilling right now I, uh i'm just chilling i'm cool friends i got a lot of friends i got a lot of family so just doing some self reflect. I'm just making content, just chilling, you know, making music. And so, are you here to meet someone? Or you just came here to tell me the update of the show.
trying to give you my update because I feel like my update, you know, yeah, as humbly as I can say, it's like the best okay, update. You got me on, you got me on uh, freaking HBO Max. Well, well, I would say this. There's stuff, the best updates to me are the married couples with children. Oh, my bad. Because that's my bad. the, yeah, I think, you know, those are the best updates. But yes, he is, he became a TV star after coming on the show. And I remember, if I remember still, because the women were, Neek said you cannot have a stomach. Yeah. And even if you have a stomach, he was willing to pay to get rid of it. He said, no, you cannot have no stomach. And women were mad at you for saying that, I remember. And then you came back to apologize, and I told you no. Yeah, yeah, Stand yeah. your ground, because women have a height ground. So if you want to say a woman can't have no stomach, that was the thing with me. <laughs> yeah. And then she had a BBL, and then I came on there, and everybody was like, you got what you asked for, because I ain't like the way the BBL was and shit, so it kind of, like, backfired on me. So the girl but, from New York had a BBL? Yeah, she had a BBL, but look, I love her to death, but this is the truth. She's going to hate me for this, but she was, like, 140 at the time. She just had got her first BBL. She gained, like, 40 pounds now, so now it look right. At first, it ain't, she look, you know, it ain't look right. But she had to gain some weight with it. You see what I'm saying? The legs and all that wasn't matching like that, but now it matched, though. So I'm happy. <laughs> it's the truth, though. <laughs> I'll say, uh, oh, wait. All right, so, all right, you know we have grown. We have a dating app now, Nick. There's a yeah, I signed app up. App. I signed up just to, I signed up really, uh, to support you, but I, you feel, you yeah. You don't want to meet nobody. Not right now, Kendra. You ain't seeing the show. These folks trying to cancel me now. Well, I will say this. This is not, here's the deal. A man should never put their hands on a woman. Exactly. And let's just say it a, a thousand times. A man exactly. should never put their hands on a woman. Ladies, do not do anything to test that theory. And when I say to that, if you put your hands on a man, hopefully he was raised well enough to walk away. Because that's what he should do. But do not instigate and test the theory. Right, right. Because sometimes you might put your hands on a man and he don't know that rule. He going to put his hands back on you. Now, yes, he is still going to get to blame because we say he should know better. But at the same time, ladies, do not put your hands on men. Don't test that theory. Don't test that theory. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, but this ain't the time to... If, if I, I, I haven't seen it, Nick, so yeah. I can't speak on what was on television. But I can tell you one thing right now. This ain't the time to have videos of you putting your hands on women because you know what time is happening yeah, already, right now. You know, I know. That's why I'm glad that me and her came out together like and did interviews afterwards because we basically explained everything. She admitted that she you know she was like pressing, like she was thugging on me. She I was like eight, nine different bitches and she was in my, it was, you know, she ain't, you know, it wasn't like she was just sitting there making tea, knitting a sweater and I walked up and yoked up. Like it wasn't like that. Not to say that I was right. I'm just, I still take full accountability. And I don't plan on being on nothing like that no more ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm older, only getting older. I don't, you know, so. But it just, we both had to come out and apologize because it just looked ratchet all together. But that shouldn't happen at all. Never, ever, ever. I ain't trying to double down on that. But I, like, I'm, I'm agreeing with what you said as well. Should no woman be pressing no man? I'm, I'm 6'4", 250. I'm from Inglewood. I'm still learning myself. I'm really from the trenches. You know what I'm saying? I ain't grew up with no, I ain't grew up in no, I ain't from no suburb, nigga. I don't, you feel me? Like, I, all I know is, all I knew was street shit till I was like 24, 25. You dig me? I'm 32. So, you know, but that's not nothing, you know, we trying to do, like you said, it's not right. So, but all in all, on a positive note, we on HBO Max. And it's all, I, I saw thanks to you and I thank you. And, you know, you know I support you, girl. Well, I'll fight somebody. I, 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 I receive it. Um, hopefully things work out for you. I know you're not lonely, even though you're not looking. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> you don't want to add no more girls to the roster. All the, nah. all the, all the, all the bench, um, all the seats are taken. So unless somebody gives up their seat, then we'll add another girl. All right, Nick, we got to go. Thank you for the I love you. Bye. Bye, -bye. Yes, if you, um, he was on the show, I remember, I actually remember when I did an interview with him because I was recording, was that 2020? No, maybe it was 2022. Could have been. What year is this, 2024? Okay, the show started in 2020. It could have been 2022, actually, um, because I remember I was in Atlanta, so I think it was 2022. Um, I used to host a show. This is how me and Regina met. I know Regine's always in the comment section. Shout out to Regine, Kendall, and Angela Simmons. 
we hosted a show in Atlanta called Social Society. And I remember, I don't know why, but I, because I remember what I had on. I remember I was in my sister's house when Neek came on the show. And Neek's whole thing was he didn't want a woman with a stomach. And child, I'm a, when I tell you, so many women were mad. <laughs> he got a lot of backlash from that. So he since went on to become a part of this show that was on own and he was giving us backstory. I haven't seen any episodes. My good friend Taronda J hosted and I, it's so crazy. I literally just talked to Taronda today. So, um, but I want to go back to what we were just talking about. A man should never put his hands on a woman. And, and, and I, I think we all agree to that. And, and I, here's the deal. Even if a woman puts her hands on a man, which is wrong, and I'm going to talk about that. A man you hope is strong enough to just take it and walk away. But ladies, I encourage you, do not test that man. Do not test him. Because if you put your hands on a man, and although it would be wrong if he returned what you did to him because he's stronger, he might teach you that lesson that he know. Like, I don't know. So keep your hands to yourself. That's just going to be the rule of all thumbs. Keep your hands to yourself unless you're are willing to deal with the consequences that could come in return. Okay? Oh, uh-oh, we got a pretty boy. We got a pretty boy. He got the light. Oh, we got a pretty boy on the show. Kendra, don't do that. Don't you, do that, Kendra. You can't. You, 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 come, you coming in hot. You coming in hot. That's why I'm single now, because of what you just did right there. So don't ask me why I'm single. What you just did right there, that's why I'm single. What, okay, what did I do right there? You just judged me at the door, at the gate. I just said you were pretty boy. Well, as soon as y'all say that, y'all just get the, I don't know. You got to sit down so we can see your face, babe. Oh, my bad. I was trying to. Yeah. Can you, like, uh, sit down? You been drinking? Yeah, I'm sorry, Kedja. I've been drinking. I like the phone being steady. So can you have the phone where it was and you sit down? Neek, how old are you? I'm 30. I just turned 30. Okay, Neek, put the phone down. We got to figure it out. Just put the phone down and get next to it because you're going to keep moving. And that's going to irritate the hell out of me. All right, so bend down. Yeah, just be on my this. knees for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Neek. All right, so this is Neek right here, 30. Where are you calling us from? Chicago. I'm uh, in Bronzeville. Chicago, Bronzeville. Do you have any kids, Neek? Two kids. How old are your kids? Five and two. Five and two. You got a two-year-old. Same woman? Damn, somebody said next. She did. They said I got a peanut head. You said what? I said by the same woman? The same woman. Why are you not with the girl who has your baby two two years ago? We both Sagittarius. What's that mean? If you look it up, we don't clash. She like she like a male version. She like a female version of me. It's crazy. Okay, well, so you don't want to be with somebody like yourself? Nah, Sagittarius and Sagittarius don't mix. Yeah. All right, when's your birthday since we had it? December first. Okay, so you a Sagittarius. What do you do for a living, Neek? We talked before. You had gave me a reading. I do a. Uh, I got a. I got a. Uh, I'm a business owner. Oh, you're a business owner. I, I didn't give you a reading. You mean Susan gave you a reading? Yeah, Susie gave me a reading. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're a business owner. Hey, Sagittarius. Where y'all at? Oh, you been drinking tonight, Nick? Yeah, I've been drinking. Ain't it like Saturday? You said ain't it like Saturday. All right. So this is me, 30, is a Sagittarius, Chicago, two kids, five and two, yeah. and is a business owner. What kind of woman do you desire, Neek? It depends. I was going to tell you, he's going to be mad at this. It depends on what they want. No, I'm not mad at that. Tell me. I don't want to be just lonely. You got a lot of hot girls that just want to just, you know what I'm saying? If they just want to do that, cool, you know? But if you a wifey and you all of that, then I'll treat you as is, you know? But if you're not that, you got some undercovers, you know, that act like they wifey, but they not. So give me an undercover. What are some qualities of a, who acts like a wifey, but they're not? You know, like the hot girls that be undercover, they be like, they be doing hot girl shit, but then they be like, I want you to treat me like a wifey. So they be picking me to treat them like a wifey. It's like, why you pick me? You know what I'm saying? Like, What's some hot girl shit, Neek? Hot girl shit is, you know, you don't hear from somebody for a couple of days, you know, you look on their Instagram story, they're on a boat, 
you hear, you know, you see him with me, and you know what I'm saying? You see him in the sections, you know what I'm saying? They just getting all the luxuries of being a hot girl. You dig what I'm saying? So they getting flown out, shopping, sections, boats. You know, I do that too. I do that with the fun girls. I ain't knocking it. You want to have fun, but you know, if you're ready to settle down seriously, then yeah, you got to be like a, a eight, and you got to be loyal. I'm loyal. I come home every night, you know, and um, you know. What's yeah, an eight to you, Nick? Give me qualities of a of a woman that's an eight. An eight is somebody that you know. Since today, you know, uh, self care. You know, going to the gym. I support the fat transfer and the lipos. I I pay for it. Whatever we need to do. You know. You pay for the you you pay for the three six lipo. You pay for. I'm putting on for the goddamn lipos and the fat transfer. I don't want no stomach. I need. So if right now, while y'all following me, if y'all got you know, I'm so, I'm shallow. Y'all not gonna like me. You gotta have the goddamn go to the gym, or we going to get the Puerto Rico Dominican Republic. So <laughs> we gotta go get the. <laughs> hey Ty, what up? <laughs> Ty, I'm rapping for the Hot Boys. What's up, boy? My boy. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, look, I appreciate the honesty, Nick. I appreciate the honesty, but I want to. I want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. So you put. So you know the the three sixty life for ain't it like eight thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah. So for your girl, move your head back so we can see your face. So for your girl, for so for your girl, you'll give her eight bands to get it together because that's important to you. As long as I know she's not giving the pussy to nobody else. If I know you're not giving the pussy to nobody else, I got you. You got me. You can't just think you got me and you're giving the pussy up. That's what y'all be messing up at. That's what y'all be know? messing up at. Okay. Y'all be messing okay. up at. All right, so he, he said he's shallow. Let's keep going. Nick, does a woman got to... <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Does a woman got to make a certain amount of money, Nick? Yeah, 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 for sure. Because I got to know you got, you got your own stuff together. I got two kids, so they be acting like children sometimes. So, yeah, got to make sure you got your bills and everything correct, you know. How much money she got to make a year, the least? I don't even know how this go. I ain't even looked at no salaries in a minute. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I don't scam. Why y'all be talking about scammers? And I do not scam. I ain't never scam, never. I'm a businessman for sure. It's sad that black man can't be businessman, but uh, she got to make like, I think like 60000 Okay, 000. okay. You got to make at least 60000 and you got to be a, a eight. What's the age range you want to date me? I'm 30. I want to have, a, I want to have like two more sons. I'm going to say between 30 and 35. 30 to 35. He wants to date between 30 and 35. Does she gotta be so a Chicago? So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Who, who are you shouting out, Nick? Who are you shouting out? I'm seeing people I know. Uh, Kendra, I'm sorry, I'm ghetto. I'm from Inglewood. <laughs> you are good. You are good. Does the woman gotta be in Chicago? Yeah, for sure. I ain't yeah for sure. She gotta be in Chicago. She can't. We got people watching all over the world. But if she like a nine or a ten, then I, then we can do this shit. We can fly back and forth. We can do that shit all day long. But she gotta be a nine or a ten. For me to be flying back and forth like that, and I'm so when I say nine, when I say nine to ten, don't think just physical. I'm talking about personality. I'm talking about I see potential as you being a stepmother to my children, being a mother to future children. You know, like a nine to ten overall. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm, not just a parent substance too. Yeah, substance too for sure. Yeah. Okay, so if you a nine or a ten, you could be out of state. You can be out. If of you state. are anything under a nine, you have got to be in Chicago. You got to be in Chicago. Okay. Um. You already said your appearance requirement is fit, and if you're not fit, he will help you pay for the liposuction. You support that. You support if that. If I like, if I like you like that, if I like you like that, like, if I like you like that, yeah. If if, if you like, if he likes you like that, um, yeah. Nick, when was your last relationship? Yeah, it was like two years ago. My baby mama. Your baby mama. You don't gotta yeah. answer this question. I kinda want you to, but you don't have to. When was the last time you was intimate with a woman? It was like it was like it was like a month ago. I've been in a drought, Kendra. You been in a drought? Mm -hmm. Why you in a drought? I ain't got vaccinated. I can't go nowhere. I'm fighting that off like Kyrie. I feel like Kyrie with that one, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I got him uh 
I don't know. Everybody say what they say when you pick that phone up and you say what you said. When they see me, I'm 6'4", 240. I'm a big guy. You know, I stand out. I'm tatted up. Uh, I look like a fuck. I look like a fuck nigga. So I look like a, I look like a hot boy. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all be y'all been went through heartbreaks and shit. Y'all see me, y'all say nah. Y'all want somebody with no tattoos, button up. Y'all think them niggas gonna be loyal for some <laughs> reason? I don't know. No, I disagree with you. I mean, you're the one women want. They always want somebody over six feet. They always want that. Um, and you look like you're in shape. You're attractive. I'm no, your DMs sense. are gonna blow up, Meek, for sure. <laughs> For sure, your your DMs. They're 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 DMing you right now. Let me take a shot to that. <laughs> but Nick, I got a question. Are you a hot boy or do you want something serious? No, I'm really an old man. My nickname with my friends is old man. I stay in the house. I'm into I'm decorating my condo. I'm into decor and shit. I'm sipping wine, really. I sip wine. I I get I co parent with my baby mother perfectly three days out the week. No drama. I run my business, you know. Um, I mind my business. I'm 30, you know. I used to promote. Anybody here know me? I was at Joy District. I promote, you know. Uh, I did a lot of partying. I be chilling. We got COVID out here, you know. We we all chilling right now. Ain't nobody really running the streets like that, you know. That is true. That is true. I mean, you gotta be a. I'm definitely you gotta take a COVID test to be around me these days. I got yeah. too much going on, so I, I'm I'm with you on Just that. All right. Yeah. So Nick. All right, let's do it. This is Neek. He's a Sagittarius. He owns his own business in Chicago. Two kids. He does want more kids. He offered up his height. It's 6'4". He weighs 240. Oh, um, shit. What happened, Neek? You, my you phone know? fell, Kendra. I'm going to give me a stand on my YouTube. You're going to get I'm a stand? Get I'm going to get you on my okay. YouTube. You keep talking about this YouTube. I don't let people plug their other social media, but I'm going to let you for a second. What are you going to do on this YouTube, Neek? We're talking about black black entrepreneurship. Uh, showing I'm from Inglewood. I'm from a poverty stricken cycle. You know, I'm trying to break the cycle of uh, you know poverty and uh, show people credit and b building businesses, LLCs, EIN, self love. Uh, I do yoga. I do a lot of things. Therapy. You know, we got a lot of scars and you know from being from the trenches and all that. So I'm trying to help with all that. You know, that's what I come from. You know. Okay, that's where he comes from. All right, Nick, let's do it. Why would I want to be lucky to be with you? Because I'm one of the few nice Sagittarius now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm cool. If you cool, I'm cooler. Like, I need somebody that's going to, you know, try to help balance me out, like, straight up. Somebody, that woman that's a little outspoken, you know, like, pow, you know, hands-on, you know. Not really. I'm, I'm not looking for the 60 40. I'm looking for the 50 50, like, like, uh, money bag yo and like Gucci and his wife. Like, I'm pretty sure she's not sitting around like, bae, go get the money and I'm gonna sit right here. She getting up, you know what I'm saying? We meeting back together with the bag and the ideas and uh, we helping with the key, you know what I'm saying? I want that, you know. So, so you want a partner? I, I, I think I do want a partner. Like, I want to start working on a partner. I want the partnership to be in full effect in the next like three years. But I want to start now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, can you be faithful, Neek? I can, I ain't gonna lie. Can you have you. sex? Can you have sex with one woman and one woman only? I can. You can. Okay. All right. Let's do it. All right. This is Neek, Chicago, 30. Um, what's your age range you want to date? Oh, 30 to 35, you said, right? Yeah. 30 to 35. He has two kids. He does could the woman have kids. No more than two. Say it again. No, no more than two. No more than two. No more than two. Did you have sex with somebody yesterday, Nick? No. Nah, why you say that? Cause somebody in the comments said you you did something with them sexually yesterday. What's their name? Their name is Sandy Lula. Let's bring her on. Let's <laughs> bring, bring her. Bring her. Sandy hey, Lula, you talking a lot of junk. We bringing you on. Yeah, uh, bring your ass on the show uh, to see uh, if that she was. Lied. She capping. So you didn't sleep with nobody yesterday? Hell no, nah, I was in the bed right here by myself. I swear to God, smoking. <laughs> smoking. I only fuck. I only fuck with boss bitches that you know they make me wait a little bit and all that. So it ain't if I fuck. If I fuck somebody I know because you know it was like a you know like a thing. I had to wait, take them out, talk to them. You know. Bring flowers and shit. I ain't fucking nobody just like that. She lying? 
She lying. She lying. She lying. Okay. That's just what Let's they do to like skin niggas. They they say anything. They say anything. Sandy Cap. They say anything, and then y'all believe it because we light skinned and shit. I could walk next to a motherfucker. Y'all think I'm fucking? That's fucked up. So you ain't sleep with her? Mm -mm, hell no. I'm, my, I'm both my daughters. Hell no. Ladies, you gonna stop lying on men like that? Okay, you gonna yeah. stop lying on men like that? All right, we gonna go, Neek. Let's do it one more time. Give us your Instagram name. It's Neek Biko. N I Q U E B I K O. So it's N I Q U E B I K O. Yeah. Neek Biko. Well, listen, yeah. we made it to seven thousand people. Smile real Woo! quick. Put smile, smile. We got with Kendra, the you got to post this one. You you gotta post this one, can't you? Are you gonna get you know you're gonna get posted. You offering to give girls like will suction? You know you getting posted. Oh uh, yeah. I need that <laughs> no stomach. A girl can't so what but Neek, real quick, you don't like girls with stomachs? No. What's wrong with the stomach, Neek? Cause y'all don't have to have it. This is y'all time. Y'all can do what y'all want. We not judging. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's no reason for you to have a stomach. Either you going to the gym. Or we going to the doctor. If we 30 and up, you know what I'm saying? Like 20 and up, okay. Okay, cool. You can go going through your little fat phase or whatever. I had a kid or two, but 30 and up, we should have to go half. Let's get your stomach going. Let's be sexy. Let's do some photo shoots. Let's travel. Real rap. You know, let's be great. Let's reach our potential. Let's get some veneers. Let's get some VVSs and shit. You know, all that lame shit. I ain't regular. I ain't with that regular shit. Real no, 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 no bullshit, man. For real. <laughs> I was, I was finna take you out for a minute because I see you be on your shit. I was gonna come take you out, treat you good, shit. You too no, young. No, no, no you thirty years old. No. But I, but I'm, I'm sure. That I keep thinking that way. Keep thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Listen. Hey, look, when you asked that pimp to show his crib, I was laughing my ass off. I said he ain't even got no crib. <laughs> That nigga was in the fur. That nigga couldn't even show you the crib. He was just ignoring that shit. Back in the day, I had like six holes back then. Uh oh, okay. I'm trying to retire right now and go back, go back to Africa. So I'm looking for like 23 women to take back for me. So you're you gonna know? have sex with 23 women? Yes, baby, like that. Then I, then I ain't gonna cheat, you know. Are you a comedian? I am not. But I'm just being real. If I have one woman, I'm going to cheat because I love women. And women love me too. Show me your house. Oh, I live in a three bedroom time home. And I got to just. I want to see the furniture. Furniture? Yeah. I want to see the decor. Really? I want to see if you got enough money to handle and take care of 23 women. I got money, baby, but I don't keep it here. I keep it in Africa. So, That's why so, so you in an apartment with three bedrooms and you think you could afford 23 women? I've been showing my shit off. <laughs> okay, but give us a tour of the crib real quick, Nick. Oh, it's dirty right now. <laughs> All right, Nick, we got to go, but you got to keep me posted because I know the ladies are in your DMs. <laughs> what what Sean Max say? I, 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 I said, Nick, right, we got to go. Bye. I, <laughs> bye, baby. <laughs>